JC. It's been eight years and six days since the last time I went to sleep without thinking about you. I knew you were the one when every second we spent together was never enough. I love you for not only who you are, but who I am with you. Adam, for eight years you've surrounded me with safety and comfort, love, and all the things I never imagined I'd have. You took my heart and my soul and slowly started mending them, and I know I could never repay you for that. Adam, I watched you inherit the responsibilities of a grown man at the age of 11 after the passing of your father. You've always been the most mature out of all of us, so it makes sense that you chose your soulmate in eighth grade. So you start off as soon as you walk in my door talking about this girl, telling me about this really weird girl that is, quote, super into you. I remember you saying something like, she dresses all black, has piercings, does a bunch of crazy shit, but I think I like her too. And keep in mind, this is back in the day whenever Adam had between 14 and 1400 pairs of the neon Nike Elites, and the only black clothes he wore said just do it on the front. I'm proud to call you one of the gents. You guys have raised a beautiful child, and I've gotten to watch you turn Adam into the man he was always meant to be. So JC and I met about two years ago when she started working at the same daycare as me. I remember her walking in and I'm like, who's this shy girl? I remember her being so timid. I was like, she's probably like 16. But boy, did she prove me wrong. I quickly realized that she's a very outgoing, strong-headed woman who does not think anyone's nonsense. Adam. Thank you for being the best partner to JC and an amazing dad to Zane. Throughout our friendship, I got to see firsthand how JC and Adam's relationship is. And let me tell you, it's beautiful. Princess? Four years ago, I was standing on my living room talking to JC and Adam about their new photo sessions. They decided to send back and forth on my phone account. Maybe you don't. You know, who knew that that day was going to come where they would be married? It, but I'll try to find ways to ease the doubt and open up your eyes so you can see. What I see, but until then, oh, I'll have to wait what a beautiful, for beautiful day we had, and a beautiful bride, a beautiful day, and what a moment. This ring I give you today, I promise my heart will be your shelter, and my arms will be your home. I promise to set an example of pure love. For our children, so they may one day find what we have. I promise to always protect, love, and care for you. I promise to never be the first to break a kiss. I promise to always bug you before bed when you're trying to sleep and it drives you crazy. <laughs> I love you so much through sickness and in health and all the in-betweens. Will you be my husband? He said yes. <laughs> Adam, you may kiss your bride. Open up your eyes so you can see what I see. Jesse Mosley. Since the death of Adam's father, he never had the chance to have a father figure, a male role model. 
Jesus. You have always willfully and enthusiastically stepped in and supported my son and helped him transition into manhood. And it's partly because of you that he has turned out to be this wonderful man that he has become. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. My first best friend, soul sister, and partner in crime. You have grown into the most beautiful and strong woman. I'm so proud and happy to be here celebrating that today. You are nurturing and kind, and I truly believe that you have found the perfect man to protect and cherish that part of you. And I can't wait to see the life that you build together. Love you. Watching you become the mother you are today has made me not only realize how much I truly love you, but how much I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to be the best husband, father, and to be loyal, compassionate, and honest, and to love you unconditionally forever and always, Jason. Will you be my wife? <laughs>